Hello everyone and welcome to the third part tutorial on this series of how to model an iPhone. So we need to do some more uh, buttons. <laughs> uh, so let's continue. Let's uh, build a cube, create a cube. Uh, this time, sorry, don't move it from the center because we need it here. And we will only bring it up, okay, so it will stay centered and I have a cat, he's doing meow meow, sorry about it um, okay so the first uh, button will be the upper button okay but at the same time we will create uh, we will duplicate this uh, cube okay so uh, control D in Windows, Alt D in uh, Apple uh, computers uh, just duplicate it and move this one down here okay and again alt uh, D and move this one also down there and duplicate it over here so now we just uh, doing some uh, uh, quick um, well I'm not sure what it is but never mind just make a few copies um, and we will continue with this now catch this one and I want you to right click on it choose edge choose this edge this edge this edge and this edge okay now go over edit mesh bevel it and the upper button should be very rounded sorry so add more segments and try to make the offset higher something in somewhere in 1.0 okay and tap on F8 to bring it back to object mo mode um, let's shrink it to this size and let's bring it up outside from the iPhone itself okay um, I'm examining the iPhone right now in order to not make any mistakes so excuse me um, <clears throat> yeah it should be a little bit longer like this and maybe a little bit fatter and then make it something like this now, thing is uh, that <clears throat> I'm always trying to create something that will look like a slot that uh, this uh, push button is uh, entering in. Okay, so I'm duplicating this item and I make it a little bit bigger and I'm moving it down here now. Um, I will create some uh, like booleans difference function here so let's switch to let's tap on 4 on your keyboard to get wireframes and now trying to put it just a little bit inside not much and choose the iPhone shift select this one mesh booleans difference okay so now we have some kind of uh, place to place our button now you can squeeze it like this and place it here so you see what I mean uh, this is actually the like uh, place that the button should uh, insert into it just trying to maybe adjust it so it will sit perfectly inside like so <clears throat> alright um, now you could have some problem when you are modeling uh, you can see that here um, I have like empty uh, faces here 
uh, which actually it's not right. Uh, those faces are definitely regular faces, but because um, we add the beveled uh, function to these corners, it looks like we have some missing faces here. So don't worry about it, they are still there, it's just some bugs with Maya, I'm not sure why. Um, okay, so let's continue. Now, the other uh, thing is to create the slot for the charger uh, down here. So we're going to um, create a square uh, slot to this. So you don't have, you don't need to do too much uh, with this slot. Just make sure it's centered. Um, okay, wait a second. Okay, it should go like, yeah, like this. It's okay. Don't make too much uh, of it. It's not really important that much. Just create a slot if it's. Uh, if you want to add more details to this iPhone um, let's switch to wireframes by pressing 4 on your keyboard uh, this is how much so choose the, the iPhone shift select this cube mesh booleans difference and now uh, this is the we need to uh, work together with both of them so um, switch back to shading mode and let's get rid of one of them because they are not at the same height so I will duplicate this one again and move it aside and now we need to create two speakers here down here so <coughs> let's delete this again let's create uh, let's bevel this part here okay we are going to do some rounded corners for the speakers um, edit mesh bevel and add more segments to it yeah that's fine and maybe make them more rounded because this is how it looks uh, so one it's okay for the offset and five segments um, it really depends on your, on you, what you want to achieve. I'm not sure if you are going to model the the new uh, iPhone 5 <laughs> kind of version. So suit yourself. Um, I'm moving it over here, and it shouldn't be that much big. Um, actually, it should, but not that big. Uh, so. Let's shrink it and I'm going to relay on this part so I will uh, place it here and duplicate it and placing it somewhere here. Now I just want to make sure that both of them are uh, will stay together so go over uh, maybe make them smaller you know what uh, like so yeah that's fine um, okay so now um, mesh combine them okay the two now when you will select um, your iPhone and shift select one of them they will both be selected now we only need to uh, first see how much deep uh, the speakers will be created so I think that that's fine okay you can always catch them only them go over modify center pivot so you will have the axis in the middle of them and then choose how much it's deep okay I think like so it's fine select the iPhone shift select them mesh booleans and difference okay so now we have two slots for it's actually the speakers uh, great um, now tap 5 to get back to shaded mode um, okay we have some uh, extra work on it but um, let me see what's up with the time 
Okay, we're only at 10 uh, minutes almost, so uh, let's continue with this. Uh, let's create two polygons. Actually, create one polygon, move it here, and rotate this cylinder like so. Okay, so it's moving on the Z axis, so let's type 90 degrees, move on, and add more subdivision axis to it. Okay, and let's shrink it like so. And now we are going to create actually the plus and minus um, buttons, like the volume buttons. Okay, and both of them should be a little bit down the screen from the upper uh, corner. Okay, so it should be here. Like if I will create now two of them duplicate them the one um, should look like this okay but a little bit smaller than this so catch both of them at the same time and use the scale tool in order to make them smaller now the thing is that again we need to uh, use some booleans uh, function and because of this um, I prefer to uh, yeah, you know what? Never mind. Um, just bring it like so. See, this is the corner of the screen, so it should be somewhere here. Uh, catch both of them, mesh, com duplicate them again. Okay, the, those will be the buttons itself, and th those will be the holes inside. Okay, so um, mesh. Um, Oh, by the way, uh, because we entered with the screen inside here, make sure you don't, uh, it's not big enough that when you insert them, it will picked out from here, okay, from these faces, okay. Um, also, again, wireframes, tap on 4 to see this. Uh, doesn't have to be that much inside, just a little bit. Click on 5 mesh combine those two okay um, by the way modify center pivot for them so the axis will be here choose the iPhone shift select the buttons holes mesh booleans difference okay so this is what we get now make sure that after you uh, place them don't move them from here because then you will have to set those two again okay so that way see it's perfect there and we don't need to do any more adjustments to fit them into their places now the only thing is to maybe make them a little bit smaller okay like so insert them inside just to see if it's okay yeah that's fine and that's it for those two. Um, I will probably add uh, plus and minus signs to each of them, but that will be later. Now um, we need a hole in to this um, uh, our headset, okay? So um, phones. So let's create it. Um, let's just create a cylinder quickly. Uh, add more subdivision axis to it and make it smaller but first first bring it up so you can see it make it smaller something like about so and put it somewhere here now this will be the injector uh, for the head headphone set so this is one let's duplicate it because we need another very tiny hole for the microphone and it should be something like this uh, okay can't really see it but it's th it's there believe me All right really there um, 
yeah okay now the thing is with the the headset injector is should be a little bit smaller and let's switch to four uh, tap on four to see the wireframes let's bring them inside let's assume that this is how deep uh, the injector of the headphones is uh, entering and this is the microphone well I'm not sure about the microphone it's too much uh, it's just a little microphone hole so people can hear you and let's shift select both of them mesh combine them as one piece modify them and center the pivot okay and then select the iPhone shift select them mesh booleans and difference as well so um, I think I'm missing a hole here of the microphone I'm not sure why is that but maybe because uh, I didn't inserted the microphone cylinder inside so let me see as I told you it should be very small but I'm not sure how much small is it in the model itself sorry um, again mesh combine them modify their center pivot mesh sorry choose the iPhone shift select this booleans and again wow okay I'm losing my mind here maybe let's not uh, let's make them separately okay so let's choose this mesh booleans difference and then choose the iPhone again shift select this and and I'm losing my mind here sorry um, undo this so it won't disappear uh, mesh booleans difference no mesh boolean difference no okay you know what just catch the iPhone modify sorry file edit 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 delete by type history okay and then try to do this again mesh booleans difference no it's not working but listen to me uh, because I still want uh, this tutorial to be effective and not just a waste uh, we are going to leave this part okay don't mess with it if you succeeded on creating this hole also that's great if not just leave it for now we will continue at the fourth part on um, adding few more uh, details here and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it was easy for you as always um, we'll see you at the next part where we'll, we will continue this uh, tutorial okay so bye and have a nice day